on the premise I want to wake up at an ideal time and still feel refreshed doing it. I don't want to wake up at like 2 p.m. I'm not doing that. Don't live like that anymore. I prefer um, waking up in the morning. I always have. Always have, probably always will. But due to um, not getting to this point where I'm at in my journey, I, I did sometimes wake up at 2. I probably might even still but that's probably when I go to different countries on holiday or something. Or quote unquote holiday as well. People call it. But I might just think of it as travelling. Not in the same way. People would think about it as an escape from their reality. That's what I'm trying to describe um, by using that difference in wording. Yeah, versus travelling versus holiday. Yeah. I don't want that. <coughs> Because that's probably been an upside of not traveling uh, as a not going to different countries as a teen and a adult. And if I want that, I have to go and make that happen myself. It's probably been an upside to it. The upside of not traveling is me being here and actually stay here sorting out my issues. Because there's nowhere else to go. <laughs> well, at least so I say anyway. But he, he, I've now noticed that that was another way of saying I can't, implying I can't go. I could. I might, maybe illegally, for example. Forget the means as to how you do it, but I can. I'm just trying to empower myself here but not to do things illegally though but I'm just saying but yeah um, there's nowhere else to go and I'm not escaping this way of life through killing myself I'm not doing that so here I am I either solve my problems or I don't <laughs> it really is that simple because I'm not taking I'm not taking that some people call the easy way out I had thoughts of doing it even this year uh, in April, I think, around about that time when I said that I was having that dark thoughts, I did think about it, but yeah, I don't have it in me, honestly, I don't have it in me to do that, so here I am, just living it now, I've got to a place where I, 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 I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to die, I wouldn't want to be a murder victim or anything like that, it's not suicide yet, but still, it's just a lot of fear around death. I was in an emotional state when I had those sorts of thoughts. And even with the thoughts of being a, a, the dark thoughts I had, the suicidal thoughts I had, sorry. And even with the murder thoughts, being a murder victim thoughts, it's, even still that was, <coughs> pardon me, under an emotional state of worry. Hmm. Maybe it's a hint that I'm quite abusive to myself, make myself think those sorts of thoughts. Just, just to make myself learn how to fight I could just do it to be go out of my way to learn how to protect myself and to in my opinion a basic standard learn how to manage my health and safety beyond just avoiding things that I think are dangerous maybe there might be situations in which there is a danger and I can't avoid it then what what do you do my parents didn't prepare me for that but hey here I am I mean, in primary school, there was a fighting club, but I wasn't taught enough, at least, about the value of learning how to fight, as far as I remember. Even with raising children, children, I wouldn't want to raise them for them to just be ungrateful in the end, what's the point? I've ended up that way, in the position of being a child, I was, yeah, no, I'm okay. I'm alright with that. I'm, I'm good. I imagine like 10 years down the line if I do live that long. Not that I don't wish to live that long. No, not that I don't wish to not live that long. I'd imagine um, parents and family say, well, why are you, why are you not dating? Why, why aren't you got kids? Uh, it's my life, not theirs. But their aim, I think, was to live vicariously through me. That's why they had me. Mum was talking about leaving a legacy. It's quite selfish, honestly. She could do that through her own life, not through having me, but that's
yes, that was her decision. That's what she decided to do. Now here I am. Yeah, dad was selfish too. He was, he was just wanting a son. Well, he got one. Not thinking, not necessarily thinking about if the son wanted him, but here I am. And he's explicitly let me know he probably wouldn't care about me if he had another one. If he had another son and if I had a bro brother, he probably wouldn't. It's all the manipulation to try and get me to, in his, in his mind, be just be an obedient little child. Someone that just fits his standards, his way of life, which I don't want to lead. It's, it, it's led to health issues, but I'm good. Health issues he could have avoided, which partially was from kids, like all the stress of raising kids. And there's no need for me to find out what that's like. I'm good. Being a child was stressful enough. Or well, can be anyway, depending on perspective. But yeah, especially during my adolescence with all the arguments we've had. Yeah, no, I'm alright. I don't want I don't want a round two of that. And my dad's so vindictive that he says he hopes that he he hopes that I have children who in my mind are difficult in the same way he thinks I've been dif been difficult. Or at least at least in his opinion anyway, so I know what it's like. And I'd be having kids for that for him to get that revenge on me. No, I'm good. He's got out of his way to it's still fearing me, so I act, I, I act in line and get put in my place through that. Not necessarily caring about the long-lasting effects that I could have, like one of my sisters was saying it, um, as we're having a conversation, just about life, I think, I don't know. I don't remember, it was a while ago, but yeah. You probably won't talk all that often, especially when moving out. I mean, we don't talk much now. I don't go out my way to speak to him, even now. It's just the other way around, he would speak to me, but, yeah. It is what it is, that's the thought I just had. No, no, it's still good. It is what it is, that's the thought I just had. Is that the thoughts that I, I'd want to have in my reality? No. That's how the other sister would speak. Nah, I'm good. I can create my reality. I don't have to just accept it. I don't have to just be a passive receiver of what comes my way. It's a different way of um, if I thought thinking about it, even right now in real time, I'm changing my way of thinking about it. But yeah, I'd be setting myself up to be a passive receiver of what comes my way through that way of thinking. I, things don't have to be like that. I can create my future. I can. I can. Through empowerment, I'll be able to live a high quality of life. That's a part of it. I'll get there bit by bit, day by day. I can. Unlike what my parents have been telling me throughout my adolescence up to now, which is I can't, I can't, I can't. They told even they they told themselves that. No more. Anyway, I'm gonna um, start cooking pretty soon. Maybe watch some Kai Green, listen to some motivating stuff, some empowering stuff, or some stuff that I'd get an uh, external personal motivation from. Yeah, I could play about with that and use that to my advantage, but I've got to be careful of um, using that because I don't feel internally motivated. That could be a part of um, why I would only think about looks and performance, not just performance, like with exercising and even with nutrition, like performing through going out of my way to have healthier meals. The, the broccoli's coming. Uh, I'll, I'll get that out now. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to watch that Kai Green video and pro probably put this phone on charge before it, before it dies on me. Right, okay, I'm, I'm on now. I'll have this later. Sooner or later. Yeah, anyway, uh, on to the next clip. If I do film another one, I think I will because I'll be having this and I'll be cooking the food. I want to be asleep by 10. I don't think that's going to happen, but I could, I can race. I don't have to go slow. I can see how quickly I can cook this. Be more efficient about it. I know what I'm doing. I know how to cook it. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm, I'm done now. For now, anyway, but I'm going to get that broccoli and then I'll, I'll start soon. <laughs>
it's quite small, but it's going to expand a lot. That's going to be like a kilo worth of rice. Okay, I'm going to have the curry, uh, curry separately. I'll make that separately. I'll use both curry sauces. This is what I meant when I say curry pots. If I ever spoke about that in a previous video. And then uh, I'll add the beef and the chicken. And they've got their sizes already. I don't think I need to weigh them. I could to see if they're actually telling the truth. I've now got to think about cooking the pasta and then doing the chicken and the beef and that into the curry and the pasta bake which I've also got to think about the pasta egg sauce yeah I'll cook the chicken and the beef first then I'll add the curry and the uh, pasta bake I'll get two separate pans alright that's one and I see another one I can use Actually, no, I need three. No. One to cook the chicken, one to cook the beef. And then I need one for the curry and one for the pasta bake. Maybe I just, I do uh, maybe the chicken here, the beef here, and then I make the pasta bake in the, oh no, that's, that's probably gonna be too small. Because it's going to expand. <sighs> Got this massive port here. That will do. It's probably a bit too big. But I can trust that that won't be. Uh, I'm now full swing in the cooking. I was thinking I can't be bothered to add um, to weigh how much oil I'm putting in there, but if I want to take care of my nutrition, I can't do that. Just not feeling dehydrated. So I'm going to just put a thin layer of the chicken, a thin layer of oil for the chicken, and a thin layer of oil for the beef, and then uh, take it from there. That's 68 grams. Goodness gracious. I haven't done that, and then I would have done. Yeah, look at that, that's a thin layer covering that pan. 68 grams, or 68 milliliters, it's the same weight. Milliliters and grams are the same. Goodness gracious. I'm going to put some eye open up, but I might if I had done it. If you add 60 grams onto it because it's a negative value, you'd add, you get the real value of the sauce, which is 1,396 grams if I've done the max correct. This is how much this pan weighs. I've zeroed it, I've just taken the sauce 
no. There you go. I, I would have never known. Alright, okay. I'm just gonna add another layer of wood. Just a thin layer on it. I'm gonna try to get inside. Grab a bit of heat to go the same way. This is here to cook the food for me. That's 36 grams. Wow. Like seven, there you go. Right, anyway, I'm gonna cook. It's like eating it four things at the same time. The rice, which is cooking. The pasta, which is boiling. Yeah, it's all going down. At 8.44 p.m. Because I didn't do it beforehand. If I wanted to make it easy for myself, it would be nice for us then I shouldn't. But also, if you do want to use excuses, excuses, basically. I was resting quite a bit, to be fair. I've cut the chicken in long pieces, so I have some uh, thick, long ones and small ones. I'll do the small, uh, the small chicken pieces with the other batch. I've only just cut one batch of chicken, so I know how much I'm using. But yeah, we've got 380 grams, so what, one out of the two batches with um, long pieces. I'm going to cook that now, and then when that's done, I'll then get the, uh, I'll then fry the other batch. To be fair, I could prepare the other batch now, put them in smaller pieces cut them into smaller pieces and then when the other chicken's done the first batch I can then just immediately add the other ones into the fry once the uh, saucepan's cooled down uh, once the oil is cooled down in the saucepan yeah. here's the batch fairly long pieces ready to go I'm not going to put any sauce on it it's going to get sauce from the past baking the curry so it's fine it's a bit lazy I usually add powder seasoning as well yeah not this time I'm going to be I've got to take this out as well. Uh, and then that'll be it. I'll be ready to go. I could just add it into the saucepan. You think, well, there's a lot of blood there, but there'd be blood pouring out of it anyway as it cooks. So I don't think it's so with that big a deal. So yeah, I'll just throw that in and then uh, I'll, I'll rinse this. Uh, I didn't want it to be slimy from uh, all the chicken juice. But yeah, that, that is that. I'm going to uh, throw that in the saucepan and throw this in the saucepan same time so I've been dealing with four things I can deal with them appropriately if I just don't stress out and rush from one thing to another yeah well I can at least try to anyway but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm done talking now I'm gonna get back to the cooking